Hey guys, it's me again, John, co-founder and product manager here at Stream Dudes. So, I've got this really nice black watertight case sitting in front of me right now. And you're probably wondering what's so great about the case. Well, of course, like anything, it's what's inside that counts. Doesn't that just warm the cockles of your hearts? Thinking about Anyway, let's talk about technology. So, we open it up and we have something very special. It's a manual, but it's a manual for something called the Nimbus YMI6220. Um, it may also be known as the hashtag YME, but it all depends on how you pronounce the name. So why not you? Because this is a cool box. So what this does is it looks like your standard fare uh, wireless connector from a camera to a switcher or point-to-point -point wireless solution. It is, but it isn't. So I started digging into the Nimbus and I found out that it's actually a H.264 encoder and decoder. And this actually doesn't run on your regular typical uh, Wi-Fi uh, protocols. This actually works on IP. So what it does is it sends and receives IP signals point to point or you could put it on your own network. So go with me for a second. You could have one end on the camera, one end at your switcher or base station. Simple. We know this. We've used it with the Teradoc bolts. We've used it with the Hollyland Cosmos. We know how that works. But for something a little bit more complex, you definitely want to look at this Nimbus solution. Here's why. So let's say, for instance, I have this through my V-mounts on the back of my camera. Plug in SDI or HDMI. Now this receiver unit can sit 3,000 feet away point to point with line of sight. Pretty cool in and of itself. But let's say for instance uh, we want to do something more with it. We want to be able to take the output of that camera and send it over IP to my internal network. I can do that. Basically I could say okay I'm going to go from camera to my network and then be able to pull up uh, my vMix or any one of my uh, software encoding solutions, even VLC player, and actually stream that video live from the camera back to my computer. This is actually a cool way for confidence checking. You could also do it the following. Bring it over a large network, so camera to this, so you got your transmitter. Then it goes over IP to your receiver. So you could then use a Wi-Fi network that's existing in a workflow to basically bridge the gap, if you will. So if you need to go beyond that 3,000 feet or you're in a building where you can't do it, um, the Nimbus is absolutely amazing. Uh, I started playing with this some more, and what I've come to find out is, let's say, for instance, you have a wireless PTZ camera. And just for you know, sake of argument, we'll say it's a PTZ Optics. And the reason I suggest that if you're using a vMix workflow, we all know you could control the PTZ Optics through vMix. But did you know that now with the Nimbus, you can hook your PTZ Optics camera, stream RTSP from the camera or back from this, but it will also send the IP protocol for the controls to the camera. So now you could wirelessly control your camera in addition to getting video back from it. This is huge. I have not come across this in too many solutions like this. And to be honest with you, the more I tear into this manual and the more I tear into these devices, I come to find out that there are a ton of features. Now the reason I have this in front of me isn't because I haven't read up or tried the product. No, actually I have. I like it a lot. There's a lot to love here. But it's because there are so many configurations and workflows. In fact, Nimbus did a nice job outlining what you can do with this. I mean, as you can see, we've got point to point like we've talked about. We have the ability to go from one transmitter to up to four receivers. You have the ability then to go from your one transmitter to a receiver and to your network and then stream it over VLC on a computer here and then your uh, decoder over here. Then you have, of course, like we talked about, the bridging solution. Now this is another way of bridging it. You can go from transmitter to receiver. The receiver will then take it and transmit it back out so then you can watch it in VLC. Who's done this before? Nobody. And this is why we love this type of technology here at Stream Dudes. 
So for more information on the Nimbus and hashtag why not you, all I'm saying is this. Check us out. Give us a call. 715-972-DUDE or shoot us an email info at streamdudes.com or simply just visit our website at www.streamdudes.com. Once again, I'm John from Stream Dudes. Thank you for watching. Later, dudes.